smoothly as we have seen it going. Now, Tom Brooks is Professor of Law and Government at Durham Law School. Tom is a specialist on immigration law and policy. He joins me from Durham. Good to have you with us. I'm wondering what you make of what's going on at the moment. It's been billed as a humanitarian mission, yet people are saying it's very political. Who's responsible here? Ah, well, I think um, it is a humanitarian mission. I think that um, the responsibility is one that is shared by uh, Britain and France, and the, the problem uh, in Calais for a long time with this jungle camp is that each country has been very happy to blame uh, the other, that the French authorities have said, well, most of these people in the, in the camp want to go to Britain. They would normally be able to uh, come to Britain to make their uh, claims except for a special agreement between Britain and France about the Eurotunnel, which is uh, right there in Calais. Uh, uh, and the agreement is that you'd be entering Britain on the French side. And that's why uh, you have so many people in the camps. They're not able to enter into Britain on that side of, of the tunnel. Um, so the French have seen this for a long time as a British problem, that the British should be doing more to sort out. The British have said, well, the, these people are in France, and so it's a, it's a French problem. And so both countries, very happy to point fingers at each other, have let this camp continue to grow and grow with the terrible conditions that we see uh, for far too long. And I think it's, it's hit a bit of a breaking point with the uh, French uh, uh, having enough of this camp in their sights and, and, and taking action. Um, but it's, it's a shame that the British haven't been more proactive and more helpful in uh, trying to resolve this humanitarian uh, situation. So obviously awful for all of those who've lived there. As you said, the conditions were squalid. It was pretty violent as well. But what about children there? I mean, last yes. time they tried to move people on, children just disappeared. So what's going to be done this time to prevent that from happening? Well, what's, what's very worrying about this is that the Prime Minister of Britain, Theresa May, was Home Secretary for six years. And during those six years could and should have done something about identifying unaccompanied children in Calais that had family ties to Britain and who had a right to have their asylum claims heard in Britain. Nothing's been done on this until the French said, right, we're going to be uh, closing this camp. And it's been events on the ground that have changed situation for the British. It has not been any kind of change in conscience or uh, national and policy. In terms of what should be done or what can be done, there's not much more time to act. The Home Office has been seemingly caught entirely off guard. It's been reliant on uh, charities uh, to, and others to help in voluntary sector to do uh, some of its work. Uh, there were some reports of, of, uh, of, of individuals uh, walking around the camp with megaphones saying, uh, you know, uh, making announcements for any unaccompanied children with family in Britain to please make themselves known and step forward. I mean, incredibly uh, poor effort on the ground to do something. I think the real risk here is that there will be vulnerable people, not least uh, unaccompanied children with ties to Britain and other countries who will be uh, uh, in this camp, um, and that there isn't much time to uh, not only identify them and, and get them to safety, but to identify them quickly before they might be uh, taken up in, uh, into the hands of illegal human traffickers known to exist uh, in the area, and, um, and much more needs to be done to safeguard them. All right, Tom Brooks, thank you very much.